how to make a cool intro that will be your channel's trademark, what are the trends among intros today and should you follow them? And does your channel need an intro in the first place? Hi, my name is Roman and this is the Mobavi Vlog, your go-to channel for making great videos. Today we will learn how to create a cool animated intro for your video without having to hire professional motion designers and spend a lot of hours and effort on your own drawing and animation. I'll tell you how top YouTube creators use intros in their videos, why you need an intro in the first place and show you two ways to create an intro for your channel. The first is simple and minimalistic, the second is artistic, it really makes your video stand out and in fact it's very simple too. But before we get started, give this video a huge like, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell, I'm sure you know what to do. As usual, make sure to watch this video all the way through and in the end I'll share with you a secret life hack about the perfect moment to put an intro in your video. Let's go! If you not just occasionally record video clips but want to develop and promote your YouTube channel, you should think about its design and visual identity. And a signature intro will come in handy here. This is an important element of style and at the same time an indicator of being a pro-level creator. First of all, let's find out what an intro is and why it should be used in your videos. Intro means introduction, a short fragment that is placed at the beginning of a video. Normally you would use the same intro in more than one video of yours. In intro you can show an animated logo and the name of your channel, cuts from the future video or even make a brief self-presentation. Personally, it reminds me of some kind of business card. Of course, you can write down your phone number or email address on a paper napkin or just say it. But if you give a person a business card printed on quality paper, the impression will be quite different, right? The same thing happens with the intro. Ok, there are channels that don't require any intro and go straight to the point, and there is nothing wrong with that. But if you want to take your channel to the next level, I strongly recommend so you use a custom animated intro at the beginning of each video. And it doesn't matter if you're running a channel of a brand or telling about your personal life, the intro is appropriate in almost any case. How do I choose an intro for my channel? As with any creative work, in video production you should watch how others do it. Pay attention to the intros of other YouTube creators to see interesting ideas and get inspired. I have noticed, for example, that there are bloggers that don't change their intros for years. Such intros really become part of a personal brand and are already inseparable from the very identity of the creator. However, there are those who change their intros very often add new graphics, animation and fonts inspired by the trends. Just a couple of years ago, most top bloggers had rather simple intros with a short text and a jingle. Now there are also some very fancy examples, you can immediately see that a whole army of motion designers and animators worked on such an intro. If you ask me, I think that the intro should express not only your personal style but also the topic of the channel itself. And depending on these two things, change from time to time or remain the same. If it's a channel with a very particular topic like movie reviews and its regular audience, then why not use the same signature intro? For example, one of the most popular channels about yoga with more than 8 million subscribers still uses an old, very first intro that appeared on the channel almost 8 years ago. But if your channel regularly features fresh topics and new genres, these experiments can be reflected in your video intros as well. Not everyone, of course, has such privilege, the time and skills to create intros from scratch and even to change them as needed. Therefore, I hope that with my tips you won't have to spend hours learning about graphics, editing and effects just to make a short intro. Even if you're a beginner with my recommendations, you can easily create a wonderful and original intro for your video. 
Okay, option number one, in case you want to add an intro to your videos but do not want to bother at all. The easiest way is to put titles and music on top of one of the fragments of your video. To create such an intro, throw a video to the timeline and then add a caption. I'm using Movavi Video Editor. This software has different backgrounds in its built-in collection. Choose black and place it on the timeline above the video clip. You can adjust its transparency in the settings. Now choose the type and style of caption you like best. For example, you can select the simplest fade in out. But if you have the time, you can find something less trivial. Mobavi has many good looking captions. Now let's add a channel's name and social network accounts, of course. In order to spice your intro up, you can change the font. You will probably find the font you're looking for in the video editor, but if not, you can choose any font you want from the list of fonts installed on your computer. But the font and image are not everything. It's a good idea to add a jingle so that the intro doesn't turn into an awkward pause. To make an intro with sound, go to Import, select Music and add a tune that sets the mood. You can look for a particularly memorable part, trim it and use it as a jingle so that your subscribers recognize your content immediately. This is probably the easiest way to make an intro. It's simple, minimalistic, but not bad, right? By the way, a quick word on the length of the animated YouTube intro. Of course, it can be very different, but usually YouTube creators keep it within 3 to 10 seconds. It certainly doesn't make sense to make it shorter than 3, cause it turns into a cutaway. At the same time, an intro longer than 10 seconds can seem too long to your viewers or even discourage any desire to watch the video further. In other words, an intro should draw attention, attract and encourage to watch the entire video, not make people bored. The second way is good for those who want to get a cool, trendy intro while spending a minimum of effort. For this purpose, we will use intro templates from Movavi Effects Store. Here you can find the best options for a wide variety of styles and topics of your content. Go to the main page of the Movavi Effects Store. Find the intro section, choose the one you like and add it to your cart. After installation and activation, all the new items will appear in Movavi Video Editor. Each pack has several options with consistent styles. Let's take a closer look at what's in here. I'm curious to try the new one, the Lava Intro Pack. It's very bright and trendy. It's got 8 options named New Ideas, Inspiration and others. With their help, you can create, for example, different intros for different types of videos on your channel, keeping the same style. It is very convenient. Ok, the lava pack is cool and bright, but rather abstract. What if you have a very specific topic on your channel? For example, you talk about computer games, or you run a culinary vlog, or talk about cosmetics. In this case, you'll probably need a template that will reflect your interests. Among the packs of intros in the Movavi EFX store, you'll find exactly what you need. For example, the stylish vlog pack has a very attractive look that's good for a makeup review intro. By the way, this pack also offers cool stickers and captions, all in the same style. Gamers might adore the sci-fi or fantasy packs. But here you have to choose according to your favorite genre. And for those who like giving their viewers the creeps, there is the horror intro pack. Although there is an 18 plus restriction mark, so that so take that into account. Are you already 18? Tell us in the comments. The coolest thing is, despite the templates, you still have the ability to create something unique. Because you can customize the font, jingles, adjust the length of the video and eventually create an intro that no one else has. There are countless combinations that give you so many options. And now let's try to make a cool intro with the help of Movavi. To do it, open the intro section in Movavi Video Editor located on the Import tab. Let's choose a template. Then click Edit. As you can see, now you have the option to edit the text. Click Apply and go back. And that's all there is to it. All you need to do is add some music. 
By the way, in the description of this video, I will leave the unlimited promo code VLOG15 for a 15% discount on Movavi Video Editor in the additional effects packs. No need to thank me. And finally, the promised life hack. It will help you use your video's time more wisely and sustain your audience retention. It's simple. Never put your intro at the very beginning of your video, because it won't attract but rather push your viewers away from watching the video before they know exactly what you're going to tell them and before they know if they want to watch it at all. I've seen it many times. Beginner creators start their videos with intros, where they introduce, for example, the channel and content type. And even if you can see that they've put a lot of effort and the intro looks cool, it is likely to be a failed video. Why? Well, let's look at it from the viewer's point of view. A viewer opens YouTube to find the answer to their question or just kill some time. They find your video because they were attracted by the topic, title, thumbnail or something else. And they hope to get an answer in your video or satisfy their interest. So the first thing you have to do is catch their attention and acknowledge the following. Yes, you are in the right place. This is where you get the answer to a question. This is what I will talk about in this video. And only after that you can put an intro with a brief presentation of your channel. By the way, this is how I started today's video. See for yourself. How to make a cool intro that will be your channel's trademark? What are the trends among intros today and should you follow them? In other words, you shouldn't waste the very beginning of your video just to show how cool your intro is, even if you're very proud of it. In the first precious seconds of your video, any viewer actually still has doubts and decides whether to stay here or look for answers in other videos. And at that moment, you have to draw attention and convince them to stay, and only after that run the intro. I think after today's video, no one will have any doubts that the intro is an important thing. At least I hope that you will be inspired to try making your own intro. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. My name is Roman, this was the Mobile Vlog, I'll see you soon and don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. Bye!